The progression of the Belize Jaguars to another round of play in the ongoing World Cup 2018 qualifiers, albeit by a very narrow margin, leaves much to be desired. While it can be argued that a win is a win by any means, the story of the team's headway is one of squandered opportunities. It is also one of deliverance, a return to modesty, having grossly misjudged an opponent on rank alone. Um, with the game we played last Wednesday, I could tell her that it was in favor of us. We just had a bad night. And today we're going to make sure we capitalize and get the goals. You know, we missed too much goals, golden opportunity last game, and I think today we are capitalized by them. Oddly, that would be easier said than done. The sudden surface on which the match would be played on Sunday evening would add yet another unforeseen dimension to the game. A heavy downpour, which began several hours earlier, would prevail for the better part of the afternoon. It was an expected thing, you know, we didn't expect a weather like this, you know. We are in like almost somewhere where the sun should be out, you know, always on the island, but then it's God's work, you know, and we just have to accept it. And um, it's part of life. And we, we used to play ball in, in, in rainy season, you know. It maybe take us a long while to get warm, warmed up, but um, we're going to try as best as possible to, to get in that rhythm. And then the field seems to be still good. It's done a lot of water, so then um, it's still a good thing for us to let, you know. You coming out of a spirited pep talk with the other guys in the locker room earlier. What was that like in terms of what the assistant coach was sharing with you guys to get you guys prepared uh, mentally for this evening's game? Yeah, you know, um, we just need to get back our group on and, and, and keep the same energy that we had in Belize. You know, it's, it's kind of pressure for us because we are aware, but then the coach is trying to keep us calm and let us know that the, um, the same tactics we're going to use, the same energy level, and um, hopefully um, with some a few changes, um, we could get the goals in the first half. You know, that's the plan for, for the game tonight. That goal would indeed be scored before the end of the first half. A brutal response to a 1-0 lead the Caymanians took in the opening minutes of the away game. We didn't panic because, like I said, the moment we saw that the Cayman Island was defending on their home turf, we knew that they, were, they, they, they gave us too much respect and they, were, they believed that the only way they can beat us is defending. And if you're just defending, it's tough for you to beat a, a, a team for 90 minutes. It's tough to defend for 90 minutes and win a game. So the way they were playing early in the game, we knew that we'd have been back in the, in, in the ball game and still have an opportunity to win and the pressure was on them because we knew that all we needed was one goal. The idea of needing a single point and scoring only what was necessary to advance suggests a weakness within the team that is yet to be overcome. I just think the players need to focus more and keep it simple when we get into the last third part of the field and try to get the ball behind the net and hold your composure when you're close to the goal because goals win the game. Going forward, the Jaguars will need to take full advantage of the two months of preparation afforded prior to the second round, where it will be facing the Dominican Republic. That team, Los Quisqueanos, is ranked 107th by FIFA and is being led by top scorer Jonathan Fania. And just how will Belize respond? I think we need, we need to focus on the things that, that is killing the team and that's just scoring goals. We need to definitely find some new strikers. We, we hope that Dion can be a part of the team. There's no excuse. We have two months. Even if he's not in game shape, he can be in game shape in, in two months if he comes and, and starts training with the national team. And, and we need to seek other strikers, but we definitely need to find some goal scorers for this team because overall we're good from defence, you know, to in the midfield. but. If you're not scoring goals, it's tough for you to win any ball game, even against a, a smaller level team. Because it's about that. It's, and if you can't score your goal, it doesn't matter who you are playing. Reporting for News 5, I am Isana Kertano.